Hello everyone, my name's Christian, and welcome to Hiking Sites. Today, we'll talk about some conservation efforts happening in Florida, and then we'll travel out west to talk about a particular individual who entered a restricted area in Yellowstone National Park. Before we begin, if you enjoy going on a long hike, then hit the like button. Or, if you just enjoy relaxing out in nature, then hit the like button for that as well, and leave a comment saying which you prefer. Or, you can just tell me where you're from for the sake of engagement. A recent article from the Florida Wildlife Corridor Foundation announced a significant milestone in the conservation journey of the state. 21,063 more acres across five properties within and adjacent to the Florida Wildlife Corridor gained permanent protection thanks to the collaboration by organizations including Florida Conservation Group, Conservation Florida, the Conservation Fund, Trust for Public Land, and the state's Florida Forever program. These five properties, that range across various parts of Florida, will provide further land for wide-ranging wildlife, protection for freshwater systems, and habitat for many native species. The Florida Panther, their territory used to range throughout the southeastern United States. However, their land has been reduced to just a small portion of Florida now confined to just the Everglades and surrounding areas of southwest Florida. They make their homes in the swamps, pinelands, forests, and wetlands of the area. Back in the 1970s, only about 20 to 30 Florida panthers remained in the wild. Today, there are just around 200 left in the wild. While still critically endangered species, the Florida panther can be considered somewhat of a conservation success story in many ways. Having just celebrated Save the Panther Day on March 16th, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation is providing a $1.5 million grant that aims to expand the Florida panther's habitat beyond southwest Florida. The Department of the Interior unveiled the creation of the Everglades to Golf Conservation Area in southwest Florida, marking its designation as the 571st unit of the National Wildlife Refuge System under the management of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Covering 4 million acres, this newly established conservation area aims to establish vital, protected wildlife corridors and improve public access to outdoor recreational activities across southwest Florida. Additionally, when hiking, always try to stay on the trail. This helps to keep the environment safe as well as keep you safe. Though, despite signs and warnings saying not to leave the trail, there are some hikers that do. One of the latest people to get caught entering restricted areas, well-known actor Pierce Brosnan. The former James Bond actor recently pleaded guilty to illegally leaving a trail in the restricted area in Yellowstone National Park. The actor received a $500 fine, and a federal judge ordered him to pay an additional $1,000 to Yellowstone Forever, a nonprofit organization supporting the park. Despite the National Park Service's repeated warnings, visitors still seem to disregard closures in order to approach hot springs and other unstable thermal features. As a result, they often receive citations or even face bans from national parks. Tragically, some individuals suffer more severe consequences such as serious injuries or even loss of life. In fact, at least 22 people have passed away from burns received just in Yellowstone's springs and geysers. Share your thoughts on these topics below and let me know what you think. If you have anything interesting in your area that you'd like to mention, you can place a comment about that as well. Thanks for joining me at Hike Insights. We'll be back soon with more news about conservation efforts, recreational opportunities, and much more. See you soon.